Let's take a look at the equation for the complete combustion of ethane. That's C2H6. It's combustion because we have ethane, we're adding O2, oxygen gas, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. I've already written down the number of atoms on each side. The only thing really to watch for is we have two oxygens here and one with the water. So make sure you count all of those up when you're balancing the equation for the combustion of ethane. So let's put a two in front of the CO2, one times two, that would give us two of those. And then we'd update the oxygens because the two goes to everything. Two times two is four plus the one oxygen here with the water. We'll leave the O2 until last because this is only made up of oxygen atoms. We change this, it doesn't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So let's balance the hydrogens. Three in front of the H2O, two times three, that's six. Those are balanced. Let's update the oxygens again. Two times two is four plus three times one, that gives us seven. So this is a bit of a problem. The way we solve this problem is we think two times some number would give us seven. So two times seven over two, that would give us seven. So let's put seven over two in front of the O2 and we're done. This equation is balanced. The reason we balance equations, we wanna know how much oxygen we need for the complete combustion of this ethane here. So these ratios, they help us figure that out. Some teachers don't like having fractions. You could multiply everything by two and that would get it to be whole numbers. That would look like this. And again, it's the ratio that we're looking for. So this is the same ratio, just now we have whole numbers. This is Dr. B balancing the equation for the complete combustion of ethane, C2H6. Thanks for watching.